Hey everybody, welcome to Team Doofy Fitness. My name is Mike, we have an amazing workout for you. Before we get started, don't forget to check into Team Doofy Fitness at home on Facebook, and as soon as you're done, don't forget to post that post-workout selfie that is being so impactful, it's so powerful, and it's motivating people all across the nation to take action and start living the best life possible. Now today, we're gonna be doing two different kinds of things. We're gonna be doing a 25 second work, 15 second rest for 12 sets. We're gonna actually do three rounds of that. And then we're gonna do a 12 minute AMRAP finisher. And AMRAP is as many rounds as possible. So in round one, we're gonna be doing reverse lunge, kick right leg, left leg, and then alternating side squats. So basically, the reverse lunge kick, we're gonna step back with the right foot. The goal is to take that knee as low to the floor as possible. And then we're gonna come up and kick. So down, up. This right here like this. Then we'll do the same thing with the left leg. Reverse lunge, kick. Then the third one, the alternating side squats, we're just gonna take a right foot and step to the side and then we're gonna keep the left leg straight. You kind of feel that stretch out right here in your side. So alternate, you're step out and then keep the opposite leg straight. Don't bend down with it. So reverse lunge, kick right, left, alternating side squats. And remember, it's all about focusing on feeling good, being consistent, and having that growth mindset, and just focusing on being happy and enjoying the journey. Remember, when we take a thought and we marry it with an emotion, that's your reality. So we wanna have positive thoughts, we wanna have positive emotions. The basically two emotions are we could operate out of love or fear. When you operate out of fear, you're bringing a lot of negativity into your life. So always operate out of love. Focus and enjoy and be happy. So today we're gonna have a positive attitude, we're gonna work hard, we're gonna kick some ass and make it happen. It's nice and steady. You're gonna probably feel maybe a little wobbly, which is perfectly okay. If you need to kind of stabilize yourself by holding on to something, that'd be all right. But try not to. Don't use crutches. Because it's that feeling of instability that's gonna actually make your brain work a little bit harder and it's gonna actually improve your balance and make you stronger work muscles that you normally wouldn't work. Step it out, you get a good stretch right here in the side of your quad there. Just nice and steady. Make sure you get that good stretch. We don't want to rush it. Good. So the goals, we wanna focus on feeling good, practicing consistency, growth mindset, and then happiness and satisfaction. Let's don't worry about the results that we're achieving. Let's focus in the manner that we're attempting to achieve those results. Because when you feel good, if you're having a bad day, working out makes you feel good. So that's one reason to wanna to be consistently working out to help minimize those bad days. And we want there to be feel good momentum. If you're feeling any sort of negative thought or having some sort of bad day, we need to immediately implement a positive activity that's gonna get your day turned to where we get positive momentum. 
And consistency. You have to apply that to your workouts. You gotta apply that to your relationships, to your job performance, to your parenting. Inconsistency anywhere is the number one leading cause of failure. Because when you're inconsistent, you're not even giving yourself a true shot or chance at success. So the key is really monitor your language, monitor your thoughts, correct yourself anytime you're saying things like, ah, I'm not feeling it today. Because basically all you're doing is talking yourself out of it and there's nobody else there to change your ways. So you gotta stick with it. You gotta stick with everything you do. And a growth mindset. There's a growth mindset and a fixed mindset. A fixed mindset just accepts the what was and the what is. They never think about the what will be. So with a growth mindset, we don't care about what was or what is. We're gonna learn from it, move on, but create a new future. Because the what will be does not have to exist. We can change it, we can alter it. We are the creators of our reality. Growth mindset also means as time progresses, you need to get a heavier kettlebell. You need to focus on pushing yourself a little bit harder. Think new thoughts in your relationships. Challenge yourself. What can we do today to make it just a little bit better for tomorrow? That's what it's all about. Growth, improvement. And when you do focus on feeling good, you're practicing consistency, you have a growth mindset, that's going to create levels of happiness and satisfaction that you may or may not have ever experienced. But that's what it's all about. Because if you're happy and satisfied with the effort you're giving, the things you're doing, that is success. Because success is not weight loss, it's not money in your bank account, it's not the obtainment of things. It's becoming self-actualized, perfectly aligned with yourself and who you want to be. Society's made us think that success is winning or being better than somebody else. It has nothing to do, this journey you're on has nothing to do with anybody but yourself. We should get rid of competition and become creators. Because nobody else has to lose for you to win. And you gotta relax and chill and give yourself a break, just enjoy. Because this idea, people getting frustrated because they're not losing weight and they have to give up, that makes no sense. Because when you give up, well, what do you think happens? Go back to your old ways, living an unhappy life to where you're having to fake it instead of actually being able to portray a truly happy and satisfied life. Good. <clears throat> So positive thoughts, positive emotions, that's what it's all about.
you guys. Round two. This time we're gonna do a pike crunch, a chest press, and wipers. So in the pike crunch, we have our legs up straight just like this. Have your arms out to the side. Then we're gonna reach up, try and touch your ankles, and then kind of squeeze. You're gonna feel that here in your abs and in your obliques. So up, down. And then on the chest press, we're gonna take our kettlebell, hold it like this, and then we're gonna do chest presses. And then the third one, we're gonna hold the kettlebell up, and then we're gonna bring our feet up right here to the kettlebell, just like that. All right, let's go. And it's really important to, when you're up here, squeeze and flex your abs. It's like contraction. You don't wanna just go through the motion. You wanna really feel it. Squeeze and flex. And focus on what you're doing. Now this, not only be pushing it up and down, but kind of be pushing your hands together. And you feel that squeeze right in the middle of your chest. And then as you start feeling fatigue, remember, deep breath in through your nose and a big exhale through your mouth. You want oxygen in, carbon dioxide out. So as you work, your muscles start fatiguing, and then they become oxygen deprived. So we want to get oxygen in, then we want to get the carbon dioxide out, and that will help give you a little bit more energy. So when you start feeling fatigued, instead of thinking I gotta quit, take a real deep breath in, and a big exhale, and then you'll feel like you'll have a little more energy to go. You're bringing it down, just bring it down nice and slow. It's good to work on that negative. Go down slow and pop it up. Good. And also remember, as you progress with us, you're gonna need to have your kettlebell. It's actually a good idea to have a couple different kettlebells of different weights, because different movements. Some muscle groups aren't as strong as others.
Good job. Remember, we gotta think, act, and feel like the person we wanna be. It's so important. Because literally, whatever you're thinking and however you're feeling, that's exactly what you're drawing more of into your life. So the key is, we wanna marry a positive thought with a positive feeling. Then you can get whatever you want. One more beach. One more. All right, round three. We're gonna do goblet squats, stiff leg deadlift, upright row, and then kettlebell swings. So in the goblet squats, we're gonna take our kettlebell, hold it in front of your chest, and then we wanna take our elbows down to our knees, and then up, just like this. So down, up. Then in the stiff leg deadlift, we're gonna kinda of pull our shoulders back, push your chest forward, and then we're just gonna go down, you're gonna feel this stretching out your hamstrings, and then we're gonna come up, Upright row, keep your elbows above the kettlebell. So down, nice and steady, up, upright row. And then the kettlebell swings, we're just popping the kettlebell, arms up parallel to the ground, just like that. When you're holding that kettlebell out front, you should be feeling a lot of that in your abs, not only in just your legs. Ugh. <sighs> 
Good job. going. Good. And another way to feel good is to show love, gratitude, appreciation, and forgiveness. Be quick to forgive. Don't hold grudges. Don't harbor any negative emotions. And remember, it's not people that upset you. You allow people don't say you. Everybody's on their own journey. So don't take everything so personal. You should never know what they have going on in their life. People treat you how they feel about themselves. One more beach here. One more. <laughs> All the 
the way through. everybody now the finisher we're gonna do a 12 minute AMRAP AMRAP stands for as many rounds as possible in 12 minutes so what we're gonna do is don't worry work at your own speed we'll have up on the screen each thing you're supposed to do but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do five burpees then we're gonna do 10 shoulder presses five burpees 10 bent over rows five burpees 10 bicep curls five burpees 10 tricep extensions so on our burpees that's what we're looking for but we may have to just go down we may step back up and if you can't go all the way down to the floor get like a stool or something to where you put your hands on there step back up so each round we're going to do five burpees before we do each exercise so then a shoulder press we're going to take our kettlebell you can hold it however it's comfortable i like to hold it like this what we're going to do 10 shoulder presses then we're going to go back five burpees then we're gonna do 10 bent over rows. So we're just gonna be bent over before we're kind of parallel to the floor. And then we're just gonna pull it up to like our sternum, kind of flex down. So 10 bent over rows, just like this. Then we'll put it down, then five more burpees. Then we're gonna do 10 kettlebell curls. So we're gonna take a hold of like the handles. So right here. When you come up, squeeze and flex those biceps. Right there, like that. Then we'll put it down, then five burpees. Then the tricep extensions, we're gonna hold it like this, by the handle like this, then we want our elbows more in, and then right here, 10 tricep extensions. Then we're gonna go back to five, that's one round. So we're gonna try to do that as many times as we can in 12 minutes. So it's kinda like work at your own pace, rest as needed, but we wanna try to minimize that rest. So it's five, 10, five, 10, five, 10, five, 10, five, 10, keep that going. So this is something new. Remember, let's work hard, let's push ourselves, and this is what's gonna make it happen. through the first round now into the round two now remember you don't have to work at my same pace work at your own pace 
we want to do is see how many rounds we can get in this time and the next time we do this we want to try and do more so just with your own pace just follow it down the screen do your best just try and keep your body going guys Is it 50 seconds left? Let's go, you guys. Remember, it's what you do if you want to quit. It changes you the most. Huh. <sighs> 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 
you guys minute five seconds <sighs> Awesome job, you guys. Woo. Awesome job at home, high five. Way to work hard, I'm super proud of you. So hopefully you enjoyed the AMRAP. Hopefully I kicked your ass pretty good. Don't forget to take your post-workout selfie, post it to the page. And remember, we appreciate it so much when you tell your friends and family about doobiefitness.com, start getting them involved. When you get them involved, you're gonna feel good because you're helping people you care about do something that will improve every aspect of their life. And that's what it's all about. Plus it's gonna help keep you accountable because the more people you get involved, the more likelihood you're gonna stick with it. So that's what it's all about. So take that post-workout selfie, post it to the page. Remember every 30 days we say it's your progress pics. So we can see the difference you're making. That's so important and that's where everybody gets so inspired because they really see what's happening. But remember all that, remember, 
love, gratitude, appreciation, forgiveness, focus on feeling good, being consistent, having a growth mindset, which will increase your levels of happiness and satisfaction to levels that you never thought possible. But until next time, you guys have an amazing day. Go make it happen.